Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's week 13 of the Dream Car. Uh, in this video, uh, we'll be taking a look at the, this week's competition. Uh, but first, let's have a look at week 11 results. So congratulations to Matthew Dickin, who won a BMW M3 Touring, uh, worth 86,500 and 50,000 cash. Uh, well done, that man. Good prize. Uh, nice looking car as well. Uh, this is uh, how I fared uh, Zone 3. Back into Zone 3, um, I did not get this one uh, right at all. Completely misjudged it. But I'm not the only one. Um, as we'll see when we take a look at the uh, judges. So here's the uh, judges' efforts. Um, and you can see the, the average cross, the white cross there in the middle. Uh, probably getting pulled up a bit by, uh, who is it? Um, Leo Donnellan, uh, who's way up at the top there. Um, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing up there, but he's up there. Uh, and the rest of them, uh, well, you can see here where they are. Um, I don't know if they discounted this one at the top. Um, I haven't watched the full video. Uh, but I had a couple of uh, the judges here, uh, Andy Braithway and looks like uh, Rene Hector, who were in the same ballpark as me. Uh, but then the others have pulled that away from there. So who knows where the ball is in the real case? We'll never know, will we? Unfortunately. Um, Anyway, that's the judges for uh, uh, week 11. Um, we'll get the results for week 12 tomorrow, um, fingers crossed. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get into this week's competition. Here we are on the game page, and uh, it's Easter Extravaganza. Cracking cars, yeah, very good. Um, there's uh, some... Easter specials here. Uh, it doesn't really mention anything about uh, discounts or anything. It just says Easter specials. Uh, we have cash prizes back again. We've got 150, 125, 100,000, and 75,000 cash prizes. Uh, and then as you come down, it's just the usual uh, suspects. Um, I think I'm going to go for the cash prize. Now, I thought about going for the 100,000 and then adding 50,000 cash, but it works out the same uh, as going for the 150 price-wise. Uh, so it's £3 uh, for the ticket for the 100,000. Um, and if I add on 50,000 cash, it adds another £1.50 to the ticket. So... <laughs> So it's no different, uh, you know, going for this one. So I think I'm going to go for this one, 150,000. Um, I'm only going to play one ticket. I have been uh, uh, promoted back up to silver. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I must have, uh, I don't know, spent a wee bit more than um, I should have or intended to. So one ticket... I'm not wasting my money on multiple tickets like I, would, I did before. Uh, and I'm only going to uh, play the one ticket. I'm not going to add uh, the 50,000 on. So I've had a quick look at this. And um, a friend of mine, uh, he sent me uh, where he thought the, um, the judge's average would be. Not where the ball would be, because we're not playing where the ball would be. We're playing where... The judges think it is. Um, and he was quite high up. He was roughly, I'm just going to quickly draw draw some lines here. He was just underneath the crossbar. So he was approximately uh, up there somewhere. Now, I can see why he's gone for that. Because... This guy here, you know, he could be looking up there. 
um, the guy down below who's facing us, um, yeah, he's, he's looking pretty much, um, you know, straight up, isn't he? But, uh, and it's a big but, I don't think the judges will go that high. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm just saying what I think. So let me just undo this. And I'll show you where I think uh, the judges are going to go. Let me just quickly uh, draw some lines. Now, he looks like he's looking almost straight up there. But this eye, I think, he looks like he's looking slightly over. A bit like that. Now, that's roughly where I think. See, if you look at the this eye here. I think he's up here somewhere. So, I might just go a wee bit higher just to show you. So if you look at the inter intersection here where, where um, these two lines meet, it's there. Um, it could be slightly over to the left side. Um, difficult. If I go slightly over, let me just draw a line through this intersection. Just come across like that. Uh, and I move this over here slightly. Maybe like that. Uh, I'll turn off the uh, the lines. See, I think that looks good. Um, I don't know if this is working yet. The target, because it, it didn't work last week. Oh, it's back. Result. If you're not sure how to uh, install this uh, target where you can actually uh, bring in or uh, calculate the average, you know, you know, if you've got more than one cross. Uh, I've got a video uh, that shows you how to, how to install it, how to use it. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll link that video at the end of this one and you'll be able to, to watch that video. Uh, now you can use it with Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome, okay? So it works with both. I'm using Microsoft Edge uh, browser, and uh, that's the one, um, sorry, that's the one that I'm using. So if you look at that, I think that's quite good. Um, I don't think the judges are going to go way up here to where I showed you before, just underneath the crossbar. I've just got a feeling that it'll be in that area. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Now, it's almost tempting to play more than one ticket uh, because... You know, I'm feeling good about this, but, you know, it's, as we, as we've, uh, as we know in the past, the judges have um, always surprised us. So I think I'm just going to leave it as one ticket, take my chances. Uh, the coordinates are X2872 and Y792. And um, you can let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Um, if you're enjoying uh, watching these videos of mine, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the post. Um, apparently it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, okay, guys, uh, that's what I'm going for and all the best. Cheers.